Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the power of 54 in chapter 29. Chapter 29 is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. So there we look at this system. So in this circular region, we have a uniform magnetic field and the P, P right, pointing inward. And then at this location, we have a positive charge. So now if the magnetic field magnitude of magnetic field is now decrease, what force will act on this charge Q? So this is the Maxwell equation or something. We know uh, the changing magnetic field will produce electric field, right? So how is this possible? This is Ampere's rule, right? We can draw a circle. Q, Q, Q. Just with the radius r as 0.1 meter so right and so inside this circle we can see magnetic field is decrease now can you determine the induced current in this case yes so we can see induced current we can see the it is pointing in right and decrease so that means the induced current will compensate this decrease. So now we use the right hand rule, the thumb pointing in. So our forefinger will rotate clockwise. Agree? This way. And at the charges point, at the charges point, it is pointing down. Agree? So therefore, we can determine the direction, the force. The force act on this charge, positive charge, the direction is pointing down, right? Pointing to the negative y direction. So we can write it as the negative y direction. So we solve this direction for this force. Now we need to calculate the magnitude for this force. So now we can see this is Ampere's rule. We get it there. So this is E dot DL, right? with the uh, integral with this circle this circle is 2 pi r equal to negative d phi over dt right d phi over dt now we can see the phi is magnetic field times the cross sectional areas so b times the pi r squared so it looks like only b changes with time so we have we can write it as db over dt right from this equation you can see this two part, you can write down the electric field as negative r over 2 dB over dt, right? Yes. Now, the force on this positive charge is the charge times electric field. So we input the E inside, we get the force there, right? Now we input all the given quantities, we can get the answer there. Thank you.